Yes, good morning. New this morning, State Representative Darren Camilleri says that many legislators have been concerned about their safety at the state capitol well before the incident we saw in Washington, D.C. Just recently, he's calling the incident we saw at Michigan's capitol last spring a dry run for what we saw in D.C. And he says there must be fundamental changes for the work to continue. I'm thankful that we had the Michigan State Police and the National Guard and the Capitol Commission take some steps to make sure that we are kept safe, but I want to make sure that we can do more to make sure that we can continue working on behalf of the people. State Representative Darren Camilleri says disruptions Michigan legislators face continue to occur because of the heightened political climate we're in and will continue to do so if no further steps are taken. His suggested solutions? Whether that's increasing our security at the Capitol building itself or allowing us to go remote. Using Zoom which has become the norm for many businesses during this pandemic. We can still work on legislation, fix our unemployment system, you know, do more to fix our roads, address COVID, get more vaccinations out there. But we can't do that every single time that we're shut down because of this violence. Sunday, state police, Lansing PD, the National Guard and other area law enforcement outnumbered protesters in Lansing. About 25 people showed up to the peaceful protest, mostly members of the media, with the Capitol building surrounded by fencing. Lansing Mayor Andy Shore saying the capital city will be an example for the nation on how to demonstrate calmly this week and beyond. This is a, a, an open carry state. People can carry their, their big guns and things. That's allowed. Um, but it's not allowed for violence. And it's not allowed, and, and we won't stand for that. We won't stand for anybody who tries to do any destruction in our city. Now, what we don't know, the amount of manpower that went into the security efforts in Lansing and what may have gone on behind the scenes. Authorities keeping that information close to the vest for good reason, but they say they will be uh, prepared to meet the challenges, if any, head on this week. Reporting live this morning, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.